more droughts along the way, part one. In saying that on Saturday 27 August 2022, which is last month, the Lord God opened my spiritual eyes there, so pictures of dirty pipes like this. Concrete dirty pipes. It was very dirty, very muddy, very yucky. And all around these pipes was dirty river, was dry up river bed. All the water was gone. The lake was gone. The water was gone. The river was dried up like this. And all I could see is the dirty pipe. The dirty pipe like this it was very dirty. And the next thing God shows me was the Cambodian eel was coming through this hole here. You see this hole? There is two two way out. There's hole at the end the front here and hole at the end there for the water to run through, right? That's what people use in the third world country or in other part of the world for the water to run through. So what I saw coming out through this hole here, right? It was this one here. It's not snake. It's called, I don't know what's that called exactly, but in our language we call tung, and we eat them, we cook them and eat them. And this thing doesn't have scale, you know that? It's not snake either. So in the, this is, I call it Cambodian eel, whatever you call it, leave it in the comment below. Um, this Cambodian eel, they has this um, eel in Vietnam, Thailand, Laos, and maybe China and Philippines as well. So all I see is that all these Cambodian eel, the big, big one like this, was coming out through this hole here. So the water was pushing out and see how big the hole is? All the um, Cambodian eel like this was coming out through there. But I noticed is that all this Cambodian eel that's coming out through these pipes here was already dead. When it's pushed out of the, the hole, it's all already dead. All the Cambodian eel here that pushing out this pipe was already dead. And the next dream God shows me was this. I saw women were lining up inside the center to use the restroom, to use the toilet. So those are the toilet room. The door was shut, right? And here are the women standing one by one. And here is the gap in between. You see this gap here? And here is the walkway like this. The walkway. This is the walkway. And here is the gap that lead to other section that I can't see in the dream. This is what God's showing me. That's, that's all I'm showing you. So after a long wait, right? After a long wait, then um, the woman in this fourth toilet was open the door and get out. And then in the spirit, I saw a picture of me was here. And then I point to the first woman that's waiting and say that, oh, there's someone get out. And then the woman started to make her way go in there. And that was, that was the end of the dream. So the dreams mean, the dreams mean, let me go back. Italy, France, China, and USA is not the country in the world that been affected by heat waves, drought this year and many years to come. But some of these following countries, such as Cambodia, my country, homeland, Vietnam, Thailand, Laos, Pakistan, India, and many more countries around the world will be experiencing heat wave, water shortage, and drought as well in the next seven to nine years, which is from now, 2022, until the end of the year 2020, 2030, which is from now until 2030, right? Um, yeah, that's right. So that's what the dream mean. More droughts along the way. It will be severe drought. Everything in the river will be dying because there is no water. As we can see already around the world with our eyes, with the YouTube, with the technology that we have, many of these countries already experience drought. As I already mentioned, I will link those videos in the description box in, in the comments below as well for you to see 
and understand of the world that we're living in right now. We can't just live in our life day to day. We have to pay attention to the world around us. And we have to prepare. We have to prepare. So I believe my country, Cambodia, will be affected by drought as well. I wish it never happened, but God have us to prepare anyway. And now let's go back to this one. One woman standing in the gap representing one year. Okay, that's what that's what the dream also means. That's one year, two years, three years, four years. On the fourth year, from now until year 2016, there will be some rain coming in because the woman get out of the restroom because she flushed the toilet, right? Once she's finished, she flushed the toilet and then she walked out and the next person can go in and use the, the toilet. So from now until year 2016, so 2022, 23, 24, 25, 26. In year 2016, which is another four years and a couple months, there will be some breakthrough. There will be some rain, but not much. And then we have to wait again. See this gap? And then we have to experience when I talk we, as that doesn't mean that's we, okay? It would it will be referring to those countries that will be affected by severe drought. Then there will be waiting period again, one year, two years, three years, four years. So let's see. Now 2022, right? Year 2023, 20, 24, 25, 26. What did I say? 27, 28, 29, 30. Oh, this is year 2026, not 2016. Sorry, my mistake. So 22. 23, 24, 25, 26, yeah. In year 2026, there will be some breakthrough. There will be some rain, but not much. And then this gap, I mentioned 2016, no, 2026. So, and then there will be waiting period again. And you know what? The other revelation that God given me this week is that, um, those countries that have been affected by heat wave, by flood, by then they will be also experiencing drought. That's the revelation that God gave me early this week, during the week. So when the drought happened in those countries, they will wait at least four years. This year doesn't count, but they will wait four years, 2023, 24, 25, 26, at least four years for some rain to come through, for some breakthrough. And then there will be waiting period again, 27, 28, 29, year 2030. So I don't know when the part two of this video will come up. It could take another four years. God only know, but I will share part two when God shared to me his heart, when he opened my eyes to see what coming up that related to this dream so now people around the world you know you know what to expect if you live in those countries you need to pray and turn to god you need to share the love of god with others the pain the suffering whatever it doesn't matter it is if you want to share you are feel free to share of the goodness of god that ha that has done for you and your family so the God of heaven already know what is to come. And remember this, people, God never wished any bad things happen to us. He always loved us. He always protect us. He loved us so much. That is why he gave his only one begotten son, Jesus Christ, to live and die for our sin. So whoever believes in Jesus will be saved and not perish. And remember, all these bad things that are happening around the world is the work of Satan. I will share another video about how powerful Satan is. And yet, that is why Satan wants to become God himself. You see? And that's why he been... And now, well, anyway, that's another story for another day. But God is more powerful than Satan. Okay? So, prepare now all you can. 
stock up water mostly and seed and food whatever you know and pray pray to god to give you wisdom if the drought is happening in your country from now until year 2030 or from now until 2026 which is four years time how would you survive four year drought you could pray for god to send rain but don't worry that those that belongs to god those that truly love god will survive god will protect his own god will protect his children because that who that's what the father does right and because god loved us so much and that is why we're still alive in i mean look at the flood in pakistan right now it's the worst flood in the in the world in the history right but god already showed me that dream unexpected flood and pakistan is one of them and now many more country around the world are experiencing flood as well i mean as long as we live on this earth suffering will never end and so is joy pain and grief and everything mixed in between because of our sin because sin had entered the world through adam and eve but first it was satan it was lucifer that committed sin before adam and eve and we have the choice to live right every day to be fair and just to everyone no matter what because that's who our father our heavenly father is we need to be fair and just okay so anyway god sees through your heart people around the world you don't need to tell god who you are where you are where you at god know everything about you I'm not ready for this. And Australia could experience drought as well between now until year 2030. I got enough food for the next eight years, to tell you honestly. But water, I don't have. How will I stock up water for that much? But don't worry, I will pray God will send rain where we live. <laughs> I'm joking, but God can do that. So, to God be the glory. And remember these people, God is warning us that many droughts coming along the way. So, pray for those countries that will be affected by it also. And prepare yourself also. Prepare food, prepare water especially. Do whatever you have to do to stock up water. And I... No worry if you believe in God, truly believe in God, you know. Jesus, the Holy Spirit will urge you. The Holy Spirit will lead you and guide you, will show you what to do. He will communicate with you in the language that you can understand. Then you can prepare. By the way, I need to call my family back home, my relative back home to prepare, especially water. And food as well. Oh my Lord, so much suffering is happening in our world now, we say. This is not the end, it's just the beginning. And um, pray, people. Pray, also prepare. If you don't prepare, how are you going to feed your family? How are you going to have water to drink, to to shower? No need to worry. You just wet the towel, little towel, and you wipe yourself. Or you can buy a lot of baby wipe and use that to wipe yourself. You don't need shower. Right? But people can live without food and water for three days. After three days, you'll be exhausted. Anyway, um, this is very long, very long video. But anyway, uh, thank you for listening, people, and take it to God. And I thank you, Father, for sharing your heart with us to see what is to come, Father. And oh, my Lord, so much suffering, God.
And okay, one more thing I want to mention is that Pakistan experiencing the worst flood in the whole world, right, in the history. And remember, if God want to kill mankind, he kill that he killed us a long time ago, but he found Noah and his family was righteous, was holy and righteous, pure and hard. And that is why he saved Noah and his family. And that is why there is us now. There is us now because of God's mercy. And if God wants to kill all the humankind or the livestock, the bird, the animal, he will, he, he would, he would do it a long time ago. Why would he save Noah and his family? Think about it. We all brothers and sisters, whether you know it or not, we all belong to God. We all belong to Christ. And if God one to kill Pakistan and its people and those that live there right now in this big, big, big flood in history. God would do it a long time ago. Uh, um, Noah and his family wouldn't have survived. But no, God had mercy. And remember this, and God promised us, Noah and his family that he will never flood the earth again like he ever did. And it's true, God didn't flood the whole earth again, did he? If God wants to kill all humankind, he just sent 40 days and 40 nights of rain in the whole world, the whole earth, the whole people on the earth already dead. No one would survive. I wouldn't be here talking to you right now. That no, God had mercy. God has planned. God is compassionate. God is loving. That is why many Pakistani people are still alive, even though more than a thousand people had lost their life and many hundreds of children lost their life. Definitely those children from zero to 12 years old will be in heaven with Jesus. Okay. I don't know about the rest, but if they believe in Jesus, they will go to heaven. So now is the time to turn to God. Now is the time to turn to Jesus. If you're still searching for the truth, if you're still searching for God, Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. Jesus is the beginning and the end, the Alpha and the Omega, the first and the last. Apart from him, there is no God. Anyway, thank you for listening. Thank you for your time. Oh, I'm so... Yeah, it's so long. Anyway, thank you for watching. I will link some of those videos in the description box below. And part two, I don't know when. But anyway, I, the next dream God shows me will be related to this, as, this dream as well. But it's a different dream, but it's also related. Anyway, thank you for watching. Have a great day. Shalom.